Hi, I'm John Bisignano. I'm professor of medicine in the cardiology division at the University of Rochester. Many of you have probably seen an article in the news that relates to a study that came out last week that suggests that people who drink a lot of diet soda may have an increased risk of vascular events. The vascular events that they're referring to are heart attack and stroke. Now naturally this is a concern to a lot of people because a lot of people drink diet soda. There's different kinds of diet soda, they come in every variety, there's different sweeteners. So we all wonder if we're drinking diet soda, is this putting us at a higher risk of heart attack and stroke? What the investigators found in this article was that may be true. It's unclear what the reason is, but they did find an association between people who drink diet soda and increased risk of heart attack and stroke compared to people who do not drink diet soda. So the question you may ask yourself is, is this due to something that's in the diet soda? Is it the sweetener? Is it some coloring? Is there something different about diet soda that does something to the inside of the blood vessels that makes people more likely to have heart attack and stroke? Or perhaps more likely, is this because when people have a diet soda, they figure they could have something else to take its place? People who have a diet soda may think it's okay to have a hamburger with cheese and mayonnaise because they've already not eaten the calories from the diet soda and they deserve a little extra food for that. The study did not really address that. So all the study can really tell us is that people who drink diet soda tend to have a higher chance of heart attack and stroke. This is one single study, so I wouldn't immediately put your diet sodas down, but I would, cons I, I would recommend that you consider your overall calorie intake and your over overall intake of fats. If you're drinking a diet soda and then splurging on a bag of potato chips that are high in fat uh, and high in calories, you're probably not doing yourself a favor in the long term. But if you're having the diet soda and still maintaining a healthy diet, high in fruits and vegetables, low in fats, and an appropriate amount of calories for your, your weight and your age, then you're probably doing okay.